Okay, this is a test setup that I'm using to see what the thrust is on this, um, it's like a SEMA 107 helicopter. I'm using one of the rotors. I don't know if I can zoom in on it or not, but yeah. There's one rotor. There's the main drive, um, the big gear. Those are our props. Those are the uh, blades off of the SEMA helicopter. Um, let me see, where is it? Like this. But it's mounted upside down in the frame. Very simple frame. All it is is hot glue. <clears throat> With little um, balsa sticks holding the prop upside down. And I just tacked the... Uh, the gear, the radio gear, uh, batteries fully charged. Um, I'm going to test this for a, a, a biplane uh, that looks similar to this one. This is my carbon biplane, carbon scout biplane. It flies really well. I have plans on my site for free. Uh, for the uh, the single wing version, I'll have the biplane version out in about a week. But it flies really well, nice and slow. I'm gonna put some more videos on about this. I'll set this back over here. Now I'm gonna do the test. I'm gonna turn the scale on. It zeroes out this weight. See, so it so it reads zero. I've got the transmitter. Transmitter on first, always. But you should switches on this is an infrared system out of a SEMA so now the switch is on um, I'm gonna get it there we go now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read it I'm gonna give it full throttle I'm gonna give it full throttle and I'm gonna read the grams of thrust that's 32 grams a solid thrust from that helicopter arrangement. 32 grams. So, and it runs very well that way. And it won't overheat. So I'm going to come back. Okay. 32 grams. Now, I'm going to cut the tape. I'll turn this off. I'm going to cut the tape and I'm going to mount an Air Hogs um, propeller from a different helicopter on there instead of these and see what kind of thrust we get from that. See you then.